How's it going everybody? Today I want to talk to you about what is the best knife for field dressing or the best field dressing kit. I've tried a lot of different systems out including the new replacement blades like from Havilon and Outdoor Edge and Gerber. I have a preference. I think I've found what my favorites are and we're going to talk about that today. Let's start with what I think may be the best kit for field dressing. This is a all-encompassing system. It all comes in one sheath for the most part. There's only one extra tool, but that's something that goes with me anytime I'm field dressing. And that is a butt out. This just makes life easy. You don't have to have it, but it is a lot cleaner in my opinion and a lot easier when you're field dressing a deer to get those dirty, non-unmentionables out of the deer. So always have a butt out with me. As far as the all-encompassing kit, last year I picked up the Outdoor Edge Razor Pro Double Blade with Saw Combo. It's a long name. I'll put the link down in the description. Just as a reminder, all those links down in the description are affiliate links, so I may get a small commission if you click on them and buy something. No, not may, I will get a small commission. Help support the channel helps keep these videos coming. So let's talk a little more about this kit. So the Outdoor Edge Razor Pro Double Blade with Saw Combo has comes with this. I like this better than the Havilon and the Gerber because it's a, a beefier knife. So the handle is a, a bit beefier. It has two blades. The first blade is the replaceable knife, primary knife for getting started field dressing your wild game. There's a little button right here that you press and release the blade. You can see the replaceable blade. This one's a little dirty from sitting in the knife for too long. And then just when you put a new one in, again, you press that button, just slide it in, locks into place. So that's the replaceable blade part of the knife. It's a traditional locking style blade. So you press the lock in the back or the lock release in the back, put that blade away. The second knife, when they say there's two blades, so the second blade is on the back. It's got a little push start there. This is a basic skinning blade. Gets right up underneath the skin and you just zip right through, no problem. I love this, that I don't have to have a second skinning blade with me or like a buck skinner or something like that. It's all right here on the one knife. So that's a great setup. It, is, it does work really well. These replaceable blades are very sharp. It's a great knife. I've been very happy with it. Along with that, you get a small bone saw. So you can see that good for cutting through the sternum of a deer or the hip bone. If you split the hip bone when you field dress a deer, it's good for that. I didn't find it all that great. It's cool. It's nice to have. It does work. It didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. It catches a lot on the bone. I don't know if that's because these teeth are so deep, whether they should be more shallow teeth, more like a traditional bone saw that I've used, but it just doesn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. It does work, it is all in one nice tiny package, comes with the sheath, comes with a few replaceable blades. Uh, just so you know, this is what the replaceable blades look like. They're you know, inside heat sealed plastic and it's got a spot right in here in the sheath for those blades. It's got a spot for the saw and a spot for your main knife all in one nice package. That's what I love about this. That's why I think this may be the best field dressing kit possible. Is it the best as far as performance? Not quite. What I feel is best for performance is the old classic Buck 110. You really can't get better than this. I can field dress the deer, skin the deer, split the sternum, all with this buck 110. I can even take the butt out without the butt out with my 110. I can do that with the Outdoor Edge Razor Pro 2. Really nothing has outperformed my buck 110. It's an old classic knife, costs about 30 bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a buck 110 if that's what you choose to use for field dressing your wild game. But it is nice to have that extra skinner, that saw if you need it, and it's all in one compact unit with the Outdoor Edge Razor Pro. What I found myself doing when I used my Buck 110 though was carrying my butt out, 
and then a buck skinner blade, and then I carried a little hand axe with me to split the, the hip bone. So it kind of got cumbersome, and that's why I was looking for that all-in-one kit. And as far as I'm concerned, the Outdoor Edge Razor Pro really fits that bill. It's all in one thing. This is all I carry with me out to the field when I'm hunting. This and the butt out, of course, but that's, that's it. I don't have a giant kit like I used to have with the Buck 110. Buck 110 on its own performs very well. I think it performs better than the replaceable blade. It, to me, it's been sharper than the replaceable blade, but I have switched over to the Outdoor Edge and that's pretty much all I take with me out to the field at this point. What do you guys think? What do you use to field dress your wild game? What do you think about my kit? Is there some way I should change it? I'd love to hear in the comments below from you all. Make sure you click that red subscribe button to catch all our videos, all the product reviews I'm planning to put out, all the tips and tricks for your outdoor adventures. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.